Anybody who has done some glass work, melting glass or over the Bunsen burner or something similar, they know that the glass can melt actually. And you can make a very thin needles or the strands or something hair like uh, from it when it is molten. You can just uh, stretch it and it forms that uh, structures. And uh, this is used in making fiber optics, actually. We use fiber optics like that in an industrial scale. In the nature, the wind will do the work of our hand. The strong winds in that area that the eruption is happening, you can see in Iceland, these tall and uh, very vigorous uh, jets of the lava in the wind actually can spread in the air and create what is known in Icelandic language as a vicious hair. In the Hawaii, they call it Pele's hair, that's the goddess of the volcanoes. And uh, they form something like a, a hair, very thick hair, like bristles of the hair, or something like a hair of a horse, probably you can say that, or kind of animals like horse anyway. And when you collect them, they're like fiberglass. Meaning if you uh, scratch your skin with them, you practically may bleed or get a feeling of a pain. You will have uh, Probably when you were a kid, you did it with the fiberglass from the fridge, pulling out a little bit of it and experimenting. Tourists now are now flocking to the Grindavik Road just for this purpose and watching the eruption as it happens. The rectangle marks where they are, and this is where they park. Every day we can see a lot of cars parked beside the road just for this purpose. And also spending a time watching the volcano, collecting even some samples from the uh, roadside or if you're lucky some of the witches hair or palace hair and taking it as a souvenir with you uh, the best memories to have in Iceland uh, among many other things that you can do in this beautiful magnificent country I have a video about this uh, formation of the palace hair you can watch that please if you look in the uh, volcanic areas uh, sometimes you see hair like things the things look like a glass wool or something like that they are found in the rock, but you can see that. You can pick them. In this case, it looks like a hair of an animal or something. And uh, they can be stuck in the wind in something like an aerial, as you can see here. And uh, there are threads which are very thin, half a millimeter or less. And they are formed when the molten lava is thrown away in the air. Droplets of the lava are... Uh, turning around, they kind of spread to long length and form this kind of threads we see. Uh, if you rub it to your face like a glass wool, actually they can hurt because they're practically glass. They can cut uh, micro cuts in your face. You can feel pain by doing that. If you're a kid, you remember me, you may have done it. Uh, bigger versions of it you can see here. These are the ones that have been uh, thrown out of the Cumbre Vieja volcano. Our colleague and the geologist colleague there are showing us these examples of it. They, when they turn around in the air, they can form this kind of droplets and then in the wind, when they are traveling and being pushed in the wind, they form this kind of uh, uh, threads. They're like the honey that is dropping from a, uh, spilling from a spoon as you saw.